Before leaving Simplify Vehicle Rentals, please check the following. Make sure that the fridge and all cupboards are closed and locked. The 220 volt electric cable must be disconnected and stowed in the caravan. Ensure that the corner steadies are fully raised and corner steady pads, if used, are stowed in the caravan. Make sure the handbrake is released and the jockey assembly is fully retracted and tightened in the raised position. Make sure to test the lights before you hit the road. Make sure that the trailer is properly hooked and that the safety clip is clipped in. When you arrive at the camping spot, first of all, choose your camping spot keeping in mind that the area must be as level as possible and that the tent will reach a height of plus minus 4 meters when erected. Remove the ground sheet from the nose box and spread it out. Park your trailer towards the middle of the ground sheet. Secure the trailer with a handbrake. Place the plastic brake blocks behind the trailer wheels. Remove the trailer connector and disconnect the trailer from the vehicle. Lower the corner steadies at the back as well as in the front opposite the jockey wheel. Connect your power supply to ensure that your batteries does not get depleted. The plug is on the right hand side of the trailer. There is a geyser for hot water inside the trailer. This geyser can be operated with either 12 volts or 220 volts. It is very important to do the following before using the geyser. 1. Decide if the geyser will be operated from the battery system or from 220 volts and set the switch. 2. Remove the geyser heat vent cover. This cover will melt if not removed. And thirdly, make sure there is enough water inside the geyser before turning it on and whilst it's being used. When erecting the tent, firstly, loosen the straps of the outside cover, open the two zips and remove the cover. Pull the top awning towards the back of the trailer. Pull the kitchen awning down. Pull the bedroom awning down to the right. Ask your partner to assist you to hold the top pillar of the roof tent in the air to enable you to pull it down towards the right hand side of the trailer. When the bedroom part is opened, two vertical adjustable stabilizing poles must be inserted in the sleeping area. The room must also be zipped to the trailer. Use the two shorter adjustable poles that must be inserted in the roof tent on the kitchen side. Put the three poles of the awning on the room side, secure the pegs and tighten the ropes. The middle pole is adjustable and must be higher than the other two to ensure that rain water can drain off. The kitchen awning can be erected next. All three of these poles are the same length and is not adjustable. Lastly, you can erect the back awning. Once again, the poles are adjustable to enable rain water to drain off the roof. Place the two spring rods in the window area above the nose box. The fridge is in the front left compartment of the trailer and is opened by pushing down on the two yellow levers. The gas stove is on the fridge and can be adjusted and pulled out by loosening the two wing nuts. On top of the fridge there is a drawer where the pots, dry tongs and grates are stowed away. Cutlery and plates are in the box next to the fridge on the left hand side of the trailer. The kitchen caters for six people. On this side of the trailer you will also find a small tap, the fire extinguisher and a plug that will supply 220 volt electricity when plugged in. There is also a 12 volt light here to assist you when it is dark. The axe, spade and spanner is stowed in the top back door of the trailer. Inside you will also find two drawers. The top drawer has four crates to pack clothes and food in. The basic stand and chairs are stowed in the bottom drawer. On the top you will find your camping table and another 12 volt light. On the right hand side you will find your plastic basins and drying rack as well as the kettle. You will find another 12 volt light here. The water tank gets filled between the back and front doors on the right of the trailer. The water meter is situated next to the battery meter 
in the front right compartment. Push the button to take a reading of the water level. In the nose box you will find the following items. A ground sheet, a bry grid, emergency parts, a compressor and plastic brake blocks. Enjoy your camping experience and when you start taking your trailer down just follow these steps in reverse.